problem number 15 is asking you to apply root tests to four different series to determine whether they are convergent, divergent, or inclu inconclusive. So the first series given to us is 1 over n to the 6n. So if I apply root test, remember, root test is just the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. So when I take the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, I end up getting a limit as n approaches infinity, and I have 1 over n to the 6n all to a 1 over n power. So when I go ahead and apply that, I end up getting the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n to the 6th. And if I take the limit of this as n approaches infinity, I end up getting 0. 0 is less than 1, so therefore this series is absolutely convergent by root test. So for number 1, we have convergent. This one was conversion. Now number two, number two is the summation n equals eight to infinity of n over n plus nine to the n. So if I go ahead and I apply root test to this, I end up getting that the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus nine to the n, and if I take this to a 1 over n power, I end up getting n over n. So that's equal to 1 as a power, so I'm taking the limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus 9. Now if I evaluate this at infinity, I end up getting an indeterminate form. With an indeterminate form, I can use L'Hopital's rule, so I'm just going to draw a little arrow with an LH over it, and I end up getting 1 over 1 if I derive it. What that tells me is that my root test came out to 1. <clears throat> if my root test is equal to 1, it is inconclusive. So this one is inconclusive, and my first one was convergent. Now, number 3. Number 3 has summation n equals 8 to infinity <clears throat> of n over 3n plus 9 to the n power. Now, again, apply root test to it, and that's the only thing we're applying. We're not actually looking to see if we can prove convergence or divergence another way. If it doesn't work with root test, we just leave it. So this one stays as inconclusive, and that one was convergent. So now, if I apply root test again, limit as n approaches infinity of n over 3n plus 9, and that would be to a, a 1 over n power. So if I take n over n, just like I did here, I end up with n over n, which comes to a first power. Now if I take the limit of this as n approaches infinity, again, it's indeterminate, so I can apply Le Hopital's rule to it, and then I end up getting one-third. Because one-third is less than one, this series is convergent. So number three is convergent. Now number four, number four says n equals eight to infinity, and I have five n plus two over n plus nine. That's to an n power as well. If I apply root test to this, limit as n approaches infinity, 5n plus 2 over n plus 9. And as with the last two, this n to a 1 over n power just becomes 1, so I'm just going to leave it as that. It's indeterminate, so I derive it. And when I do that, I end up getting 5. 5 is greater than 1, so therefore this is divergent. So number 4 was divergent. So I got C, I, C, D. So if I look at my answers, I can see that letter B is the right answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.